Okay, so this tutorial is going to be for the magnetic lasso tool. It's right underneath the marquee tool. And it's, uh, you'll see uh, the lasso tool, the, poly the polygonal lasso tool, and the magnetic lasso tool. And the magnetic lasso tool does exactly what it sounds like it does. For this tutorial, I went online and I found an image that we're going to be using. So to pull up that image, you just go to File, Open, and then you can find the I uh, you can store the uh, the JPEG wherever you want, and you just browse to it. I'm using this one. I called it Pink Dress. Basically, it's just some lady wearing a pink dress. I'm guessing she's famous. I don't know who she is. But um, the first thing I want to do is. Um, get rid of this little padlock right here. This just means the layer is locked. So if I were to come down here and click put on a new layer, I wouldn't be able to put anything like underneath of this layer or move this layer. It's stuck there. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this layer one that I just made. And to get rid of a layer, you just drag it down into this trash can. Blunk, gone. But uh, to ch the way to get rid of this, you rename it. And to do that, you double click it and then it'll ask you to name it something. So I'm going to name this one uh, Color and click OK. Now I'm going to want two layers because I'm going to make one black and white and I'm going to make one color and I'm going to have the color one showing where the dress is. And it'll, you'll understand it here in a minute. So I'm going to right click this layer and hit duplicate layer which is located right there and I'm going to name this one black and white. And it's a really good idea to, 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 to name your layers because whenever you start getting into things that have, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20 layers, you're going to be like, oh, well, which eye is this or which whatever you're working with, which part of the logo is this or which part of my website is this. So if you have it named, like labeled, it makes it really easy to go through and make adjustments to specific parts of your, of your art. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take the black and white and I'm going to uh, use the magnetic tool and what the magnetic tool does is you hold down left click left button on the mouse and it will I'm going to drag it along this dress it, and it will for the most part automatically stick to these lines so I'm just going to start up here at her shoulder and press left click and you can see how it's like sticking sticking to the outline of this dress and then I'm basically just going to outline this entire dress the best I can. Not all pictures are going to work out this way. You're going to have to mess with it a little bit. You know, do this, do that. Whatever you need to do. And you got to be pretty careful. You see how I just missed the bottom right down there? But you got to be pretty careful because um, if you go up through the middle or whatever, you can really mess up your outline and you got to start all over again. But this one's following the dress pretty well. And the it's going, on, it's going around that little purse thing pretty good. Like I said, not all pictures work out this well. But I got lucky and found a pretty good one. Okay, let's go up around the boob. A nice set of boobs, if I do say so myself. And then we're going to come back down around. Just like this. It's doing a really good job of uh, sticking with it. So now we've got this dress selected, and and it's just like the ellipse tool. You can do you can you can uh, transform it if you hit Control T. You can move it around, make it smaller, do all that stuff. You see, you notice I'm working with the top layer right now, so that's why I've got two dresses because now you're seeing the bottom layer. That's why it looks like there's two dresses because there's actually two pictures. So. Um, but I don't, I don't want to keep it like that. I want, I want to manipulate it specifically. But I don't want to keep it selected the whole time because that's annoying. And I'm only going to be working in this selection. So what you do is, is you can go up to select up here at the top. And then you can save this selection. It's anything you want. It's at, you know, this is the document that you're working with. This is the channel. And then I'm going to name it Dress. And then click OK. So now that selection is saved. So I can... Um, I can undo the selection, nothing selected, but I don't have to redo it. I can just go up here and go to load selection, 
click on the channel and select dress and click OK and then my selection was saved so there it is again it's right here where it should be so I'm gonna get off that selection and I'm gonna turn this top picture into black and white and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go up here to image and then I'm gonna to go to adjustments and one of the options is black and white so I hit black and white so that turns our lovely lady the entire picture black and white so now I'm simply going to hit select load selection and select my dress and hit OK so now this is still uh, this is selected if I hid this it would uh, show the color picture underneath so all I'm going to do is from the black and white layer is hit delete and there you are her dress is show the the dress on the picture underneath is what's showing. If I hid this, you would see that the uh, it's just transparent, and then I bring it back, and it's just showing the dress on the layer that's underneath. And this is a really good way to to make like a nice picture of your wife or something like that on the, on your wedding day, or take some roses and put them black and white, and then cut them out a little bit. You know, it might take some time, but you can cut them out and you can. Um, delete the the top picture and make this you know a really nice a really nice scene and make make it look real real nice you know impress your friends or whatever but this strap right here is like not pink it's still black and white so what you can do is, is you can really zoom in on this thing and with the black and white layer selected hold down the control button and hit the plus button and you'll you'll zoom in and then um, you can scroll up and really take a peek at where you want to add or delete some of this stuff. So you can go to the eraser, and as you can see, my eraser, you can probably see the eraser moving around a little bit. My eraser is way too big. Like, if I click it once, blam, you see how much of that got, got deleted? So I'm going, to, I'm going to hit Control z and bring that back. And then right up here this is the brush size. You hit this little arrow and you can really bring that brush down and you can see how big, yeah, you can see how my brush is starting to get smaller. You bring it down to 79, it's even smaller. I'm probably going to have to bring this down to about 10. Yeah, it's going to have to be pretty small. Let's say 7. And you can really get in there with some, some fine erasing, you know. And it goes all the way down to, to 1, I think. But, you know, you can really get in there and do some good, uh... I think I'm gonna have to think. If you get some of the hair, it's not really gonna matter when you're at this level. Just Mainly just because the hair is already pretty dark. And, um... You know, you can really just get in there. If you want it to look really good, really professional, you can get in there and touch it up pretty well. Um, I'm gonna scroll down here because I know, yeah, her dress right here was pretty, uh pretty rough looking so I'm just going to delete this black and white layer and um, get rid of all of that. As a matter of fact you can actually since this is all dressed down here I don't really need to make it look that pretty. I can really up this and take care of a lot of this. Yeah just like that. Just really get rid of a lot of that. Brush it on through there. And it's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit Control minus, hold down control and hit the minus key, and zoom out, and it's looking pretty good. And uh, that's a nice quick tutorial on how to make a uh, make a color stay, turn a picture black and white, whatever you need to do. So uh, hopefully you can use this, and I'll see you next time.